Hey mages on the internet, Matt here from TotalMTG and welcome to today's oh so special video, I get to crack packs. It is Corset 2021 booster box, a tad early thanks to the great people over at Wizard of the Coast who sent this to me. We are going to be cracking some packs and hopefully we're going to pull some really, really sweet cards. But without further ado, let's do what you've come here to watch, let's start cracking some packs. So here we go, let's get straight into this box. Oh, I love cracking packs, I'm so excited to get this in there. Let's open this up, this beautiful box. Lots of packs to go and open here, we've got 36 in total. I'm gonna get these out, put these just to the sides. Here we go, so I've got somewhere to put the commons and uncommons. Right. There we go, box, stay, stay just to the side. Right, here we go, first pack, let's zoom in. Is that about right? Uh, probably about there is probably about right. So, let's get in there. So I'm not gonna go over too much about prices or anything like that because obviously it's gonna be very fluctuated at the moment, this is super early to open this up. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at the first pack, and it is a Dilophosaur is the first creature we have, which is good. And then we've got an Ogre. Read the Tides. Phalid. I'm going to go over some of the cards in the commons and uncommons as well that I do like. Uh, the whole Colossal Dreadmoor's back in. There we go. Hunter's Edge. Appointed Chorister. Swift Response. Teferi's a Protégé. Then our first uncommon is Havoc Jester. Then we have a Tavern Swindler. A Law Scale Kotal. And our first rare is it's a Mythic. It goes straight in. Liliana, Waker of the Dead. Hashtag hope they've sent me a broken box. I am loving this first card. Really cool. Um, not sure how good it's going to be. I hope it's going to be really good. Four mana Planeswalker with four loyalty. Each player discards a card. Each player who can't loses three life is the plus one. The minus three is target creature gets minus six, minus six to end of turn. Well, X is the number of cards in the graveyard. And that minus seven looks really, really sweet. You get an emblem at the beginning of your combat on your turn. Put a target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. And it gains haste. We get a planes, a knight, and one of them. So that is a very good start. First pack, love it, absolutely love it. Let's get into the second pack. Here we go. Right. Pack on the floor, be sorting all that rubbish out later. So we've got Crash Through, Megalodon, we've got Duress reprinted, Life Goes On, Goblin Arsonist. An Arcanist with really nice art there. Warded Battlements. Grasp of Darkness reprinted. Really good common card there. Devils. Valorious Steed. Then we get to our Uncommons. And we have Chrome Replicator as the first one. Canopy Stalker. Soul Seer. And we get a... I can't pronounce this one, so I'm going to say the Spiteful. Uh, other creatures get minus 1-1. One, one. It's a 3-2 Legendary Warlock. For two and double black mana. Interesting card. Interesting. I think, you know, not sure how it's going to see some play. But it's, hey, it's a sweet card. A crag. And that. So, we started with an epic card to start with. That is, you know, we really, really were very lucky in that first pack. That is a great way to start a booster box opening video. And now we have Cage Zombie. Season Training. Fura of the Bitten, we got a Crab, Crab, Corpse, Short Sword, Gorhorn, Acolyte, Rousing Reed, now we got Unleash a Fury, Eliminate, definitely one of the best uncommons in this set, Destroy Target Creature or Planeswalker, Cover Team Manicos 3 or less, we certainly needed this a little bit earlier, didn't we? Conclave, great for the plus one counters deck without a doubt. And my first Solemn Simulacrum, really good for EDH. I think he's going to see some play in Standard as well. That is a pretty sweet card. And we get a Foil Crab. Foil Crab. And ooh, a lovely Plains there. A lovely Plains and a Sap Token. Uh, that is really cool. 
There we go. Another pack done. Let's get on to the next pack. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that one was. This one was. This one was really stuck together. Here we go. So we've got a vine. We got strike. Legion's judgment. Captor sphere. Lurker. Ranger's Girl, I think is a good, good reprint. We've got Swift Response. Makeshift Battalion. We've got Devils. Right, so now we go to the Uncommons. We've got Wingmare. Vroom, Wingmare. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. Pretty interesting. Three mana taxing creature. Uh, Scythe. One of the Sanctums. we got the first Sanctum. we got our green Sanctum. And, oh, what a cool card is Vito. Really cool card. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. You pay five, give all your creatures lifelink and really drain your opponent. There's some fun brews around that card, without a doubt. We've got a dismal backwash and another little card there. All right. Next pack. Here we go. So, on to the next pack. Hobble Fiend. We've got an Opt Gloom Sir. Radiant Fountain reprint. Snare Spinner, Goblin Wizardry, four mana though to make those two tokens, but they do have prowess, which is nice. Uh, Lanoir Wizardry, very, very good common card. Uh, Celestial Enforcer, we got Riddle Form, nice riddle reprint, Kinetic Ogre as well, Dire Fleet Warmonger, and I get a Fable Passage. Now, reprint, but still a very sweet rare. Uh, not sure how the price is going to affect that with um, obviously being reprinted. Uh, but funny enough, I didn't actually have one in my collection. So, I'm very happy about that one. Let's get on to the next pack. And here we go. Larcenist. Mind Rot. Titanic Growth. Thrill of Possibility. A rookie Mistake. Fetid Imp. Finishing Blow. Turret Ogre. And we got a Pegasus. This is a nice, nice card. Build around card, I think, for an uncommon. Really cool. Um, exile target creature or planeswalker's controller creates a 4 4 angel. Definitely want to put this in some decks. Not, not really build arounds. But what I'm saying is, it's a very, very sweet uncommon. Bad deal. Oh, got some alternate art. First Lime Agarix Uprising. Very nice. And we get, oh, Baron Tolerian Archmage. So, uh, enters the battle, return up to one target creature or planeswalker to his owner's hand. Begin of your instant, if permanent was put in your hand from the battlefield, you get to draw a card. That is pretty sweet. And I get a foil, anointed chorister. Form of fools, and that. Okay, next pack. Not doing too bad for time. Here we go. I want to rush through these though because you know it's the sets out it's brand new village right smashing common that one setters and trading dub dub i like dub frantic inventory ghost light well i like the name dub not so much the card um so now we go uncommon's bolt hound crack it or just key elder which is Cauldron, and we get Basri's alternate, our Basri's Lieutenant. Very nice. Vigilance Protection from Multicolors. It's a 3-4 Human Knight. Ends a battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target creature control. When Lieutenant or another creature control dies, if you had a 1-1 counter on, you get to create a 2-2 token. So that is pretty sweet. And get a foil rare. It's Spark Hunter Master Core. Look at that. Spark Hunter Master Core. Nice. And a swamp as well. Wow, this pack was really sweet. That was really sweet, that pack. Here we go. Into the next pack. So we have Pride Malkin. This was really good in draft when I played this. This was a cracking common. Uh, Anima, we got Rise again. A long name. Dub. Sentinel. Sabretooth Mauler. Feast of Resistance, Teferi's Protégé, and we get uh, one of the Sanctums, Stonefangs, the Black Sanctum, really cool card. Got beat by that in the early access event. We got a Kraken, Twin Blade Assassins, and my first Temple of the Box. Temple Epiphany, Is It Colors, very, very nice. Ragged Highlands, and I get, oh, get the emblem for the Liliana. That is pretty sweet. All right, let's start this pile over here. Going through different piles. So let me know in the comments which cards are you really, you know, which cards are the ones that you want to pull if you'll be cracking packs. 
There's an opt. We got a Soa Anointed Curistar Singer. Battlement Shock. Now let's get into these uncommons. Traitorous Greed. Unsubstantiate. Will it see much play? Nice reprint. Canopy Stalker. And Conspicuous Snoop. Double red 2-2. Two, two. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast goblin spells from the top of your library. So ready for the goblin deck. This is the old Snoop. Swift and a token. Another pack. Here we go. Da, 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 da. So we got a Radiant Fountain, Snare Spinner, another Goblin Wizardry, uh, Mind Rot. Mind Rot followed Titanic Growth last time as well. I'm pretty sure that did do that little follow on. Skeleton Archer. We've got Amir as our first uncommon, followed by Shipwreck Dowser. Alternate Art Baziri's Solidarity. Put a 1 1 counter on each creature you control for one and a white. <gasps> Oh my word! Look at that! Alternate full art to Fairy Master of Time! Yes, yes, please! Oh, yes! What a pull! What an absolute pull! That just makes the box for me! Yes! So, if you love pack cracking videos, that is the time that you hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you're new. I've got lots more stuff to open as well on the channel. So, if you're loving, you know, product opening, I've got some more stuff. And the next video will be out tomorrow after this one. So, make sure you're here to see that. So, we've got Pestilence Haze, which, you know, could be good maybe when another card rotates. This is a good card to build around. Griffin Airy. You know, get a payoff for having gaining life decks. Really sweet. Avenger and Primal Might. So we go from an almighty card to one that's slightly not as good. Primal Might, Scout Balance, and a Sapraling Token. Next pack. Oh, I'm going to have some clearing up to do this weekend. Right, rise again. We got a Tyranodon. We've got Dub. Turn its leg. Megalodon, Blood Gluten, Sentinel, Rousing Reed, Feeder Resistance, get to the Uncommon. So we got Kinetic Ogar, even Gaggle Master. Yes, Gaggle Master. Burfless Oak, and it's another Temple. It's Temple of Malady, the Green, and the Golgari, and a Foil Sniper. There we go. Okay, still plenty of packs to go in this pack hacking goodness video. Return tonight, burn bright. Look at the art on that. Wow, cancel. We got walking corpse, we've got life goes on, crash through, another grasp of darkness, shock, short sword. On to the uncommons, selfless saver, waker of waves. Soul Seer, and we get Maze Mine Tomb. Put a page counter on Maze Mine Tomb, scry one, very nice. Uh, mage counter, pay two, draw a card. When there are four or more counters on it, exile it. If you do, gain four life. Okay, nice bit of life gain. And what's good about that one, you know, and if you want to go for the plus three life gain sort of deck, that gain you four life after doing some shenanigans with it as well, scrying or drawing cards. Seems a pretty decent card to me. Um, Truffle Snout, what a name for a card. Pit Brute, Mistake, Gift, Lanoir Vinegary, great combination of card there. So we get to the Uncommons, we've got Havoc Jester, Scourge. Oh, nice card, this Patrician, and a Stormwing Entity, three double blue, three three. It's an elemental, spell costs three less to cast if you cast an instant sorcery spell this time. Hmm. So potentially it's going to be a, you know, a two mana, three, three, flying prowess, ends the battle, scry two. Seems to have a lot of text there for a lot of stuff. A foil jungle and the plains. Lovely. Oh, if only they put, if only they put fetch lands into these again. <laughs> into standard? Never. I don't think that's ever going to happen. It would be nice, but hey, I don't think it will. Sage, bitten. Uh, have we pulled any cultivates yet? 
Is Cultivate going to be the card that we're just never going to pull in packs this year round? Ascension, very nice, uncommon. Jeski Elder. This is a cool, cool card. One mana, one, one. If it enters from the graveyard, if you haven't cast it, you get a 5-5 five, five Black Demon. Sweet, sweet card. And it's a nice mythic. It's a Planeswalker, Bazriket. Good in the Countless deck. Three mana Planeswalkers. How's good this is going to be? Let me know. I think, you know, I think Countless is going to be quite a good deck. So Basri Kett could be a very good card. Blossoming and that. So that's a couple of Planeswalkers. Very nice. Basri and Teferi. Still want to pull some more. So Ignorance Core, like I said, good in draft that was for me. We've got a Jaress Truffle Snout. The Wizardry. Prismite, Hunter's Edge, we got a Choristar, Punisher, Twin Blades Assassin, <gasps> yes, I got a Teferi's Tutelage, my favourite type of mill, and my, followed by my one of my favourite, if not favourite, blue card in the set, it's Sublime Epiphany, the Cryptic Command-esque card for six mana, and you get to do five things, Counter Spells is just amazing, Counter Abilities, Returning permanents, creating copies and drawing cards. This is a sweet, sweet rare. That is going straight for me into an EDH deck. Without a doubt. Right, let's get through some more of these packs. Here we go, get it in shot. Gluten, return to nature. Cancel, corpse. Charger, I'm interested about this cultivate, you know. Where is it? Paladin Mir, Gormand, an Oak, and Hooded Blightfang Death Touch. Very nice Death Touch deck. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch attacks, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals damage to a Planeswalker, you get to destroy that Planeswalker. That seems pretty sweet. I definitely think there is a Death Touch deck out there in standard, without a doubt. And that is definitely a card that you're going to be putting in it. The build around cards. I do like build around cards. Uh, read the tides. You know, means that you can just have some fun with some jank brews. And sometimes they turn out to be really good as well. Uh, we've got Greed. Light of Promise. Avenger. And it's another temple. Temple of Mystery. Hmm. Getting my share of temples. Getting my share. That'd be enough for me now, please. Um, Gloom, Soa, Growth, Sphere, a Lurker, lurking in the background there. Secure the scene. We've got a Swooper, Chandra's Magmut, Hallow Blade, Dryad, Hound Master, Massacre Worm is an absolutely great mythic rare. Ends a battlefield creatures you opponents control get minus two two. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, that player loses two life. What? That is sweet. Oh, foil planes as well. Still, it was another mythic. Oh, cards are falling over there in the back. That's no good. And put that there. Right. Let's get on to another pack, shall we? So, yeah, that was a pretty sweet mythic. I think uh, Massacre Worm is definitely going to see some play in some sort of decks. Uh, we've got Scarring, Thalid is nice, Ranger's Guile. Finishing Blow, Watchdog. Are you going to be building dogs and cats? Uh, Furious Rise, Meteorite, of Volcanic Geyser, and Transmogrify is the rare. So, what does this do? Exile Target Creature. Creature control reveal cards from the top of the line to reveal a creature card. It puts that card onto the battlefield. Ooh, could be an interesting deck to go around that one as well. Getting something cool. Pretty glad that um, Agent of Treachery isn't there. So we got a Rookie Mistake, Alchemist Gift, Sage, Furious Bitten, Run Afoul, good in a cyborg card. Ooh, we actually get another alternate art, which is nice. We haven't had that many at the moment. Liliana Steward, that can go over there. Um, I do like my art cards. Um, we got Falconer Adept, Cartel Freebooter, interesting card to come back in the standard. What in the words? What did I say? I've had enough temples, thank you. Don't want any more temples. Temples are nice, but, you know, obviously playing Magic for quite some time. 
For me, I started in Return to Ravnica. How about you? Put in the comments below when you started playing Magic. What was the first packs you cracked? I'd be very interested to know that. It's really interesting. Mine was obviously Return to Ravnica. Um, Garrick's Gorn. Nothing said there. Nothing said there. That can go over there, though. Give me later. Miscast. Oh, sweet. Got a miscast. Obsessive Stitcher. And, oh, we're just talking about cats and dogs. Feline Sovereign. Definitely going to be played in a tribal deck without a doubt. Uh, there we go. A little lantern and that. Right. Still a few packs to go. This one is the last from the left side, though. So the left pile. Guildmaster. Track down. I think that's going to be a good, good card. Alchemist Gist. We've got a Steed. We've got a Shock. Here we go. Golem. Scourge. Battle Shaman. And we get oh, Glorious Anthem. Creature you can control get plus one, one. Not sure. It might see play. I'm not sure. sure. Oh, a nice. That, now that is just I know it's a common. But Lanoir Visionary is a gorgeous foil. Look at that shine. You're going over there with the rares. I actually prefer that to the rare. How about that? The foil Lanoir Visionary. How does the anthem for me? That is a sweet card. Right. Oh, that one. That one was upside down. Guildmaster. Track down. Gift. Tyranodon. Response. Protégé. Bowman. Another grasp. Okay, on to the uncommons. Seasoned Hallow Blade. Riddle form. Faith Fetters. And it's another mythic. It's Mangara the Diplomat. 2-4. Human Cleric. Lifelink. Whenever opponent attacks with the creatures... Oh, sorry. When opponent attacks with creatures... If two or more of those creatures are attacking you or Planeswalkers you draw, you get to draw a card. Whenever opponent casts a second spell each turn, draw a card. Sweet card. Oh, and I was just talking about Cultivate. Look at that. Search your library. Oh, my God. That lovely alternate art there. That is absolutely gorgeous. Rare? Is it rare? Is that why I haven't seen it? Wow. But that is gorgeous. Well, wow, that is a pimped out EDH deck I'm going to have now with that kind of art. That is absolutely lovely. Rare. Okay. Village Rights. Setters and Training. Uh, dub. Inventory. Gloom Sower. Titanic Growth. Devils. Various Steed. Short Sword. Right, here we go. Another Wingmare. Another shrine, good mentor, and we get Joel. Well, right? we're getting some of the legendary creatures. Munvuali Recluse. Well, I said that butchered that. Uh, one, two. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create tokens. Uh, okay, this this card is definitely a nice card. Oh, get a lovely forest and a sap token. Right. So let me know about that. Cultivate. Let me know about it, please. Alternate art. Has a rare card mark on it. Let me know. Lofty Denial. Pride Malkin. Here we go. Wall of Ruins. I know there's like so many different arts for everything in this set. Basri's Acolyte. You can go over there. Alternate art. Rousing Dead. There we go. Tide Skimmer. Empath. Experiment Overload. Containment Priest. A nice reprint. Um, standard, mm, no, but maybe I think it's you know it's a nice reprint. Containment priest, two two flash. If an unturn crew would enter the battlefield, it wasn't cast. You get to exile it instead. Non too shabby. Non too shabby. All right. On to another pack of this pack cracking goodness. Oh, I love it. I'm just going to be cracking so many packs of these. It's so fun. Rambunctious mutt. <laughs> Secure the seed. Oh, Red Shrine. We're getting a run of shrines now, which is good. Tormod's Grit. Faith Fetters. And we get one of the lands. Animal Sanctuary. So this will work well if you're, you know, building birds, cats, dogs, goats, ox, or snakes. Because you can pay two and put one one counter and target one of them. So that is pretty sweet. And we get a foil. Oh, foil blue. If I'm going to get a foil, common or uncommon, blue is always best for me. And a Garrick Unleashed. But we need the Garrick Unleashed. So I reckon we've still got about eight, eight, nine packs left just by looking at the pile. Um, so hopefully we're going to pull some more sweet 
card. Zombie track down. Okay, Pristamite. Frost Breath. Uncommons. Reign of Revelation. Draw three cards, discard a card. Four mana. Not too bad at all. Chandra's Pirating. Rebirth. And I get a Scooze. Exile type creature card from Grail. If it wasn't a creature card, put a 1 1 counter in it. Paying that green mana can get out of control. The Scooze. Nice card. Used to be modern player for. I'm not sure if it still is. I haven't played modern for so long. I sold out of modern last year. Just never really got a chance to play it where I'm where I live. So um, kept one of for obviously EDH purposes and stuff like that. But I mean, literally, it was such a long time since I played modern. Such a shame because I do love modern. Um, but I've got historic now. So hopefully that'll grow. To Fairy's protege, alternate art. You go over there. A ghoul. Veteran. Peer into the abyss. Great card for that combo mill. Did you see the video I put out yesterday? Make sure you check that gameplay video out. We abuse that card. It is really cool when you mix it in with Teferi's tutelage. It's such a good card. It is sweet. Right. On to the next pack. Mind rot. Cancel. Rise again. Revitalize. Ogre. So we get rewind, hold, cuddle, and we get other dogs get plus one, one. We got a pack leader here. Uh, two, two, going to be in that tribal deck. People are definitely going to be trying to play this tribal because people are so excited about the dogs and cats. And that will be there. And oh, volcanic, although lovely, lovely foil, uncommon, very nice. That can go there. So what we got left? We got four, we got six packs left. Six backs. I've not done too bad on the timing. Not, you know, I've not dragged it out too long. I think I've been pretty fair with this one. Burn Bright, Wall of Ruins. We've still gone through, you know, a lot of the cards as well, which I know a lot of people like. Some people like just seeing the rares, but when I do my first box openings, I usually go through all of them when the set's new. Um, and then later ones, if I put them, they do go to just the rares. And we get to Chromatic Ori. No, Ugin. I thought that was going to be Ugin. I got really excited thinking Ugin, but this could be, you know, put it into EDH. I think it's going to be a cool, fun card. Uh, spend mana as well with many mana of any color. You can tap for five, really good, and draw a card for each color around permanence you control. Very sweet pull, straight from my EDH decks. So I don't know which one yet, but hey, it's a good card, and I think it's going to see play. I think, you know, even though it's seven mana. I think for, you know, certainly for EDH, Commander, that is going to see play. Um, crash through, a Megalodon, weird. Here we go, right. Siege Striker, Scythe, Watcher of the Spheres, that our first one. Teferi, Ageless Insight, four mana. If you would draw a card except the first one you draw in each of your turns, draw two instead. Not bad card. Seems a, you know, a brew, a bit of a brew. It does seem to go well with the old tutelage. So I think that could be good. All right, here we go. Duress, Arsonist. You can see I'm speeding up towards the end. <laughs> Shield mate, Visionary, like I said, really good. Oh, we get another alternate. Oh, Magmut. Very nice. And the Blue Sanctum. Eliminate, Invigorating, Surge, and it's a Temple of Silence. And a Blossom in Sand. So last three packs. Are we going to find Ugin in the last three packs? Is it going to be there? I would take some more Planeswalkers. We've actually had three Planeswalkers. Basri Teferi. I think I said earlier two, but I forgot. First pack, we hit Liliana, didn't we? So we've actually had three Planeswalkers. We've had a, quite a few Mythics. Various Steeds. So we've got a Replicator. Bad deal. Warmonger and Demonic Embrace. Oh, I want the three-mana tutor, please. Not the Embrace. A nice forest. You can go over there. Two packs to go. Come on, I think it's been a pretty sweet box. We've got some nice planeswalkers. We've got, you know, that gorgeous Teferi, which is, you know, if I was going to get any planeswalker myself, it would be that or Ugin that I would like to see in that kind of artwork. Basra Reed, Archer, Response. So we got Light of Promise, Reign of Revelation, Thrashing, Brontodon, and See the Truth. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of those cards into your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. If this spell was cast from anywhere other than your hand, put each of those cards into your hand instead. Interesting blue card. Last pack. Here we go. 
of this video. Last pack. Let's make it a good one. Let's make it a good one. Rangers Guile. Lofty Denial. Here we go. What is it? Land of our visionary. So we go Meteorite. We go Houndmaster. We go Dryad. Oh, we go Solemn Syndrome. I saw the colourless and I got excited. But Solemn Syndrome is a nice card. And I do need a few of these 3DH decks. So that is a really nice last card. So all in all, I think we've got some really good cards here. Teferi is obviously the best one of the whole packs. Uh, this alternate art is absolutely gorgeous. Because um, this is true. We've got Planeswalkers in here. We've got alternate arts. We've got some nice foils as well. Fabled Passage. Vito, Liliana. We've got some Solemns. Uh, the the, the um, interesting card for me, definitely, was the alternate art. We've got Basri, which is really good as well. Um, the Cultivate at Rare. Um, I didn't know that at all. So, um, obviously, Cultivate isn't a Rare, but maybe it is for the alternate arts. I don't know, but that is really, really, you know, I didn't expect that. I didn't, you know, research into the arts too much before. Uh, Mangara the Diplomat, very nice card. But all in all, a very, very nice booster box. And I really appreciate you all for coming here and enjoying this with me. Thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sending this my way. Remember, I've got lots more packs to open over the weekend. I've got a couple of pre release packs and some collector boosters as well. So make sure you're here, you love pack cracking, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up for me and commenting is really good as well because it sends the video around the YouTube world. And um, yeah, it just shows your support for free. So I do appreciate that a lot. Anyway, you lot take care and I'll see you on next video.